the world has changed. And a lot of times you will see that people talk about political will. I believe that political will is a two-way street because the policymakers, the the heads of government, the parliamentarians, those people who are or you know sitting in the Oval Office or in the boardrooms around the world, they respond to what their people, their constituents, or their customers want. So we have to be talking to everyone, and that's part of this message of the Global Goals for Sustainable Development: is that everyone has a role that you have to tell everyone so that it's transparent and accountable because that's the era we live in right now. We've got to be accountable to the people that we serve. The UN does. Member states, those, those governments that are part of the UN, they've got to be accountable. And then we owe it to the future generation. What have we been doing about this? And how are we going to know we're making progress? The global goals give us those, those KPIs, those, those, those standards that we can be measuring against. So I believe that you've got to be talking to everyone if you want to make sure that those policymakers are accountable for what's happening. So digital has a seat at the table because indeed it's digital that's connecting the table. And we view that social media is an, is an important and an exciting tool in this. Social media isn't the fire, but it's definitely the fuel. And we love it. And we love people who have embraced social media as a way to talk to people, to connect across borders more quickly, to share lessons learned. Because if someone who's working on a project in Ghana has figured out an innovation, it should be immediately available to those people who can change it and customize it in Brazil. And those conversations should be happening in India. And social media has allowed for those communities to emerge in a much more democratic, open, and exciting way. That's the kind of era we live in, and we've got to embrace it. And I think that you, we see that happening now. If you're going to meet people where they are, you have to be talking them, to them where they talk. And so while it might be daunting for some, it's exciting to say, how do you work with Snapchat to talk about social issues? Can you have a substantive conversation on Twitter about what's happening on, on climate change? Yes. Can you partner with Facebook to have conversations at major summits? Absolutely. All of those channels, all of those platforms are ways for us to connect. We have, we have experts on issues who are talking to each other via Google Plus Hangouts. So it's not a matter of, of which platform you get on. It's a matter of how you invite all the platforms to be part of one another's conversation. Marketing has already changed the world. We've seen that. And a lack of marketing about some of these issues maybe gave us some, lack of, some missed opportunities, but I believe that the biggest and the best brands, the smartest brands of the next generation are going to be those that realize that if you are silent about these issues, you're complicit when we don't make progress. Customers, c clients, constituents, they're not going to read silence anymore as safe. They're going to read silence from brands as, why weren't you working on it? Why weren't you telling your story? Why weren't you being accountable? That means marketing has got to be there. It means it's got to be doing more than just glossing over things. It's not about, it's like, as we like to say, it's not about the frosting, it's about the cake. Sustainability is baked into everything that's going on. Marketers had better have that story front and center. Brands can't afford to be silent right now. Silence on social issues could be the kiss of death for brands because customers, and especially the way that young customers are engaging with brands right now, they're going to vote at the cash register. They're going to vote with their, with their dollars or what they buy, but they're also voting through social media and they want to know that the big brands that they support in their life, that are part of their, of their household, that are part of what they do, the brands they carry around with them in their pocket, they want to know that those brands have a stance on what matters to them. A majority of young people want that. A majority of people my age want that. We want to know that if we only have limited resources, we're putting resources towards something that are going to be a great product and help make for a great future. I think most brands are so much more amazing than the stories they share. And Instagram is an awesome way to start thinking about stories that you haven't told and telling stories